Hi, I hope this video finds you well wherever you're watching it from. My name is John Gora, I'm a life coach. In today's video, I want to respond to one of our fans, Madame Evelyn, who commented in one of my videos and requested for a video to speak about what happens when you are trying to help people so much. These people can be your families, they can be your friends or colleagues. You are doing as much as you can, putting all the efforts that are possible, using all the resources that you have to make people happy, to fulfill the needs of the people who are closer to you. When you are feeling tired, feeling exhausted, and somehow you're feeling like you're doing too much, what do you do? If you're one of those people who are feeling the same, then stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to illustrate to you the reason why it is important sometimes not to be overkind. You see, when we are born, we all know that God grants us talents, responsibilities, opportunities, chances, luck, blessings, all the things. And these things come as a package, a package to help us steer our lives and put our lives all together. Unfortunately, things happen. Sometimes you realize that you're the only one who is blessed or has got more luck and more chances in your family. And something happens like all the burdens of the family, including your siblings, your parents, relatives, even those who are friends to your family, looks up to you. Every eye is looking up and expecting that you have to dip yourself, dip your hands into your pockets and save them from the tragedy. Tragedy of maybe not having a house, tragedy of not having food, tragedy of not having school fees, tragedy of not having money to pay bills in hospitals. Sometimes it goes beyond that and it includes even tragedy of paying tithe for each and every member of your family. What do you do as a person? You see, we are all human beings and sometimes we become tired. But the great thing is God sees us more than any other person. Whatever you give from your heart, with happiness, with boldness, without being pushed, without feeling the burden of giving it, is blessed and blesses the person that you are given. The receiver of anything that you give with a clean heart gets the blessings. Unfortunately, the moment you start to give with a doubtful heart, with a weak heart, with a complaining heart, feeling that you're giving too much, whatever you give loses its meaning. Yes, we are human beings. We have the right to put a stop when it is too much. Helping people is the most beautiful thing. Being kind is the most beautiful thing. But remember, when you overhelp, when you become overkind, you are not punishing anyone else and you are not even helping anyone else because you have got to help yourself before you can help anyone. Look, if somebody was drowning in a sea or a swimming pool and in the whole of your life you have never been to any swimming school or you've never even entered a water body to try and swim, would you enter that water to save the person just because he's drowning and you are the only person who is around? Definitely not. Because if you enter that water body, you're going to lose two lives. You cannot swim and that guy is already drowning. The only thing you can do is to report it so that the body can be found. So you see, you cannot overburden yourself with responsibilities that are coming on your head, which sometimes is not your responsibility. Look, we have been um, put to understand that just because you are lucky 
within your family or amongst your family, you have to take all the responsibilities of your family, including those responsibilities that are supposed to be taken by your parents. But this is the truth. We do it out of courtesy. We do it out of kindness. We do it because they deserve. But when it is becoming a burden, when you are feeling low and feeling pain because of the same help, you have got to take a break and get back. And try to be bold and speak out. Tell these people, explain to them that you see, even though I'm working and I'm getting paid, the needs, the responsibilities, the expectations are getting beyond my reach. And I cannot continue with this anymore. It's either somebody comes in to help me or I will only help to the maximum that I can. This is what most of the people fear. Do not die because of rescuing other people. You have to rescue yourself first before you can rescue other people. You cannot die and you are the only person who is expected to raise the bills, to raise the pay for the bills. You are the only person who is expected to put the food on the table. So you don't want to kill yourself because the moment you kill yourself, you are killing all of the other people. But if you know how to give, what quantity, and in what quality, and in what time, however much little it is, you are saving these people from dying, and you are saving yourself also from dying. So what do you do? You are perfectly doing what is right. Don't push yourself in doing things that are beyond your reach just because it is a responsibility. You are part of that family, you're part of that group, you're part of that maybe company, so you have to work and overburden yourself just because people depend on you. You must cut the dependency ratio. Sometimes even government itself cannot reach or meet everyone's expectation. Who are you to meet every person's expectation? Unless you are a God, you are no robot human being. You are a real human being and whatever you do, do it to the best of your fit. Do not get unhealthy and sick because of trying to solve problems for everybody. My name is John Gora. I'm a life coach. It was my pleasure hosting you here on my YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed to it, please do so right now because I put videos here every single day to help you learn and move up the ladder in terms of life and relationships. Remember, your comment is what I read leave it down there and also if you want me to talk about any topic that you feel is fit for everyone else to listen to just write it in the comment section and i will be doing it in the next video otherwise keep smiling and let's meet in the next video